with Jesus all the way to Calvary's grove. Gaze upon the scene of suffering, while my tears of sorrow flow. Yeah, he tells me how he loves me, takes my every sin away. So I follow him so gladly, lead me anywhere he may. I will follow, yeah, he leads I will pass to. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Shall we bow down our heads for prayer? Ajekiaterebalatibadura. <laughs> And lost Praise the Lord. You're welcome to a second Sunday in the month of June which is our Restoration Sunday. And this month of June also happens to be the month of a turnaround, and we all will turn around all our captivities in Jesus' name. Amen. Our text is taken from Psalm 66. But for the sermon, we'll take it from verses 8 to 12. I read. Oh, bless a God, ye people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard. 
which holdeth her soul in life, and suffereth not her feet to be moved. For thou, O God, hast proved us, thou hast tried us as silver is tried. Thou broughtest us into the net, thou laidest affliction upon our loins. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. Happy Bukufu Alonwa, a year new, Kiesi Moon, Ibo, Owen Yere, Eliso Muemi Wawa Laye, Tiko Si Jeki, Esewa Kyoye, Alonwa, Nitoriti Wati Ridiwa, Iwati Don Wawo, Biati Don Padakawo, Iwami Wawa Inu Ikwanju, Iwafi Ikwanju Le, Wali Egbe, Iwami Wawa Inu Ikwanju, Iwami Wawa Inu Awanwo inu ino ati omi lo sugbon iwo mu wa jade wa sibi irora Beloved with all that is happening around us today Ara o mo gbo to sele ni ayita wa ni oni we can see that we have passed through fire a le ri bipe ati la inu no koja we've passed through waters ati la inu omi koja but the word of god says god has brought us out into a wealthy place. A wealthy place meaning he has turned our lives around. Our topic this morning is repositioning yourself for divine turnaround. Repositioning yourself for divine turnaround. This month of June, beloved, I pray will mark the beginning of months for you in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. You shall experience a turnaround in every facet of your life. In your work with God. In your ministry. In your health. The business and finances. In your academics. And also in your marriage. The Lord will turn everything around for good in Jesus' name. The month of June signifies a new era for you and all that concerns you. This is because we are serving a great God and a mighty God. His ways and thoughts are different from ours. We we'll read that in the Isaiah 55, 8 to 9. Isaiah 55. Dini our daughter verses 8 and 9 for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways said the Lord for as the heaven are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts Isaiah 55, verses 8 and 9. 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 Isaiah 55, verses and we lay in Latin, Latin, or Quayer, 
So I have no doubt in my spirit that this month will be your month of wonderful testimonies. But for us to enter into the fullness of God's plan for our lives, we must empty our minds of every thought of worry and anxiety. We must do away with inferiority complex. We must do away with poverty, thoughts of poverty and lack. We must remove the mindset of I cannot make it. Oh, it is, this is not possible. Once we free our minds from every life and blessing limiting thoughts, then we must begin this month's journey with a new desire for God's presence. And we'll be willing to pay any price whatsoever to find the presence of God. Let's open our Bible to 1 Chronicles 13 verses 7-14. First Chronicle 13. Chronicle 13. Verses 7. To 14. And they carried the ark of God in a new cart out of the house of Abinadab. And Uzziah and Ahu drove the cart. And David and all Israel played before God with all their might and with singing and with harps and with psalteries and with trim, timbal brills, and with cymbals, and with trumpets. And when they came into the threshing floor of Chidon, Uzziah put forth his hand to hold the ark, for the oxen stumbled. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzziah, and he smoothed him, because he put his hand to the ark. And there he died before God. And David was displeased because the Lord had made a breach upon Uzziah. Wherefore, the place is called Perez Uzzah to this day. And David was afraid of God that day, saying, How shall I bring the ark of God home to me? So David brought not the ark home to himself, to the city of David, but carried it aside into the house of Obedidim, the Gittite. And the ark of God remained with the family of Obedidim in his house three months. And the Lord blessed the house of Obedidim and all that he had. Lati ese keje won si gbe apoti eri Olorun ka keke titun lati nu le Abinadab wa ati Usa ati Ahio n to keke na ati David ati gbogbo Israel fi gbogbo agbara won sire ni waju Olorun pelu orin ati pelu duru ati pelu Satiri ati pelu Timbali ati pelu Simbali ati pelu Ipe nigbati won si de ile paka Kidroni Usa no wo re lati di apoti eri na mu nitori ti awon maalu kose Ibino Ruasi Lucy Usa, Osi Blue, 
Nitori ti wo fi owo kan apo ti eri nibe ni o si ku niwaju Olorun David si binu nitori ti Oluwa ke Usa kuro nitori na ni a se pe ibe na ni peri Usa ti si di oni David si beru Olorun ni ojo na wi pe ebi wa se mu apo ti eri Olorun wa si odo mi be ni David ko be ni David ko mu apo ti eri na bo si odo ara re si ilu David sugbon o gbe ya ile obejedomu ara gati a ko ti ralon si ba awon ara ile obejedomu gbe ni ile re ni osu meta oluwa si kunkun le obejedomu ati ogun gbo ti oni in the passage we just read we can see king david ordered that the ark of god which represents the presence of god should be taken into obedidion's house si a ba wo bi kika ti a se ka fun atan yi a ri pe oba davidi o so wi pe ki won ma se gba po ti eri wa si odo ohun sugbon ki won gbe ya ile obedidion as a result in 3 months obedidion and his entire household encountered divine turn around ni pa ile yi laani osu meta a ri pe obedidion ati dile re won ni iyi pada rere the lord blessed obedidion and everything around him this month of june is your month of supernatural encounter and okay. turn around in jesus name o su kefa yi o jo osu iyi pada lati oke wa fun aye re di oruko jesu in god's presence the bible tells us there's fullness of joy also in his presence we can draw wisdom and direction we draw favor and protection we can draw blessings and deliverance we can draw spiritual strength and encouragement can also draw freedom from sin. He's also a help in time of trouble. All we need to do is ask God to teach us his ways this month and oh. the Lord will grant us a request in Jesus name. Let's open to Isaiah 2:3. And many people shall go and say, "Come ye." and let us go up to the mountain of the lord to the house of the god of jacob and he will teach us his ways and he will walk we will walk in his path for out of zion shall go forth the law and the word of the lord from jerusalem iwe asaya orikeje ese keta opolopo eyan ni o si lo won o si wi pe e wa e je ke lo si oke oluwa how then can we pursue or reposition ourselves for this great turn around i have seven keys or pursuits that will aid us to position around our lives for divine turn around the first is deliverance pursuit ah koko deliverance pursuit e tu sile ile pa e tu sile in second timothy 4:18 and the lord shall deliver me and you from every evil work he will preserve me and you unto his heavenly kingdom 
To whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Second Timothy 4.18 he waits in what you cage, you only carry us a cage, you didn't know. Oh, no, I know you're making what you know. He shared with Guru Bobo, you're sick by me. They knew your barrier, and it's your go up, lie at lie lie. We have to deliver, our deliverance has to be shunning sin and all his works. He done the work, but up. And the passage we read, Psalm 66, verse 18. 18. It says, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. We'll have to deliver ourselves from worldliness. The book of Titus, chapter 2, 11 to 12. Titus 2, 11 to 12. It says, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation had appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. <laughs> We have to shun all hypocrisy. Second Timothy three five. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such, turn away. Ah, want to one year for away by your lorum, she born, she won't say a barare, get a pool or do a boy. We also have to deliver ourselves from foundational bondage. Ah, but dog bite to select one, no, he did, he did delay. These are all necessary to sanitize our life for a clean walk with God. I want one ye, why mookie I ye, why kill jet, I walk back, you want me more, for you share it alone. The second is obedience pursuit. It's your telling on me, he blip by borrow. Acts five twenty nine. He wish our postally, or he can run as a company in your bone. The book of Acts, chapter five. Verse 29. It then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than man. Shibon, Peter, you are saying, Apostle, you don't want to be paid. I want to go to my body, you see in your law. Psalm 11960. Psalm 119 verse 60 reads, I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. It is important that we obey God in totality. We must avoid 
been disobedient to God's will. Because if we are disobedient, God will not take us to the next level if we have not carried his last command. The next key is the growth pursuit. The growth pursuit. The book of First Peter two two. First Peter two two. I we peteru. Kini ori keji se keji. And I read, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the world, that ye may grow thereby. Be um what or what it is? Kie ma fe wara ti emi. No, iti ko li eton. Kie iko le ma ti pa se redagba si igbala. Joshua one eight. Iwe Joshua ori kini ese kejo. Says this book of the Lord must not depart from your mouth. We oh. shall meditate upon it. Only Joshua 1 8. It's important that the word of God will meditate upon it on a daily basis. Because there lies a spiritual growth. The correct application, knowledge and application of the word will only help us to realign our decisions, our words, our thoughts and actions towards having a divine turnaround. A victory in life is obtained only through complete trust in God and meditation in the word of God. The next key is the service pursuit. Service pursuit. Luke 14, 1. Verses 70 to 75. Luke chapter 1. Seventy to seventy-five. As he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our lives. Beauty, we, near no, I want to live anymore. 
ti won be nigbati aye ti se pe a o gba wa la lowo awon ota wa ati lowo gbogbo awon ti o ko rira wa lati se anu ti o ti leri fun awon baba wa ati lati ran ti majemu re mimo ara ti o bu fun abraham baba wa pe ohun o fi fun wa lati gba wa lowo awon ota wa ke wa ko le ma sin ni aipoya ni mimo iwa ati ni ododo ni waju re ni ojo aye wa gbogbo the covenant this covenant god made with abraham is also binding on every child of god who is actively working for him we cannot be in the house of god and be a bench warmer we must work find something to do in the house of god where we do not do this then we are covenant breakers the next key is the companionship pursuit companionship pursuit Lilepa ibadore Psalm 11963 Psalm 11963 I read I am a companion of all them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts. God is very much interested in who we associate with. Because the person we associate with would either influence us either positively or negatively. And this in turn will affect our divine turnaround. The next pursuit is the holiness and sanctification pursuit. Second Corinthians 7.1 Second Corinthians seven one. Corinthians Heaven therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. It is important that we live a life of holiness because the Bible tells us that without holiness we cannot access God. And our God has commanded us to be holy for he also is holy. The next key is the prayer pursuit. The prayer pursuit. First Thessalonians, Thessalonians 5.17 It reads, pray without ceasing. 
book of Luke as well, verse chapter 18, verse 1. Luke chapter 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. You need to create time for constant fellowship with God and personal retreat. Prayer will build a spiritual life. Adura, o man be igbaye wa ti emi o man gbero and will also clear any tons and tissues that want to choke our spiritual life. Beloved, it is important that all these prayer pursuits, all these key turn around pursuits, that we apply them to our lives to bring about the desired divine turnaround. Because we must remember that for us to make heaven, we have two parallel destinies to fulfill. Two parallel destinies to fulfill. The physical destiny and the spiritual destiny. But these days, all we are pursuing is a physical destiny. But without us fulfilling the spiritual destiny, we can not have access into heaven. Because the spiritual controls the physical. If we begin to pursue a spiritual destiny with all vigor will find out that it will be easy to fulfill our physical destiny. The Lord in his mercy will help us and grant us the power to do this in Jesus name. This morning we are going to pray and ask God that any hindrance, anything that is posing as hindrance on our path to having a divine turn around, the Lord in his infinite mercy will cut it off in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for the word that you have given us. Let's talk to the Lord. Am I the one that is standing between my divine turnaround? Let's examine ourselves and talk to the Lord. Lord, search me. Expose me. See if there's any wicked thoughts within me. Father, cleanse me from all evil thoughts. Let my walk with you begin anew this day. 
Pray and talk to the Lord. Pray, pray, pray very well. Talk to God, begin to talk to God. This is a challenging message. Which, one, which God wants us to work on it. For our own good. Good In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I want us to pray more aggressively. And I want us to add sea to our sea. Very, very important. As God has promised good concerning us this month, we need to strive whatever it may cause us to make sure that we receive whatever God has in store for us. He's the one that has promised that this month shall be a month of uh, our turn around and therefore let's make sure that we cooperate with God in order to be fulfilled that is to receive what God want to do in our life this month it's an it's an opportunity for us for myself for you and for our family as well. Amen. Amen. In order to encourage us to pray very well, let's go back to that passage of scripture. Psalm 65. Verse 4. When the message was going on, the Spirit of God just led me to that passage as a confirmation of the message. Let's go, let's go to that passage, uh, Psalm 65, verse 4, and I, and I read. Blessed is the man you choose and cause to approach you that he may dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, of your holy temple. I'm reading from New King James Version of the Bible. Amen. Amen. 
ki o le ma gbe inu agbala re won ni ore inu re ore inu ile re yo te wa lorun ani ti temple mi mo re for emphasis sake let me come up again fun atenu mo e je ke to to ka blessed is the man you choose and cause to approach you that he may dwell in your house we shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house of your holy temple alaboko fun ni eni ti iwo yan ti iwo si mu lati ma sumo odo re ki o le ma gbe inu agbala re won ni ore inu ile re yo te wa lorun ani ti temple ni mo re praise the lord hallelujah I don't know whether you are familiar with that passage of scripture. Oh, you will know the interpretation. That is the meaning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is an opportunity for us to come before Him, to serve Him, and say, "My children, my people, I have something special for you for this month." You are free to approach me. You are free to seek my face. You are free to pray unto me. You are free to cry unto me. And I will hearken unto you. Bo ja anfani fo wa lati le wa si waju re lati le sun mo pe eyan mo mi pe eni ori ofe lati wa si waju mi lati sun mo mi pe eni omi ni ra lati gbero nko ohun ti e ba fe ni owo mi emi yo si se fun yin. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. That is the meaning. That is a simple meaning. It has no hidden interpretation. It's clear. It's not everybody has a privilege. At times, when they announce that somebody is dead, some uh, it may be very somebody very popular, is well known, is rich, even wealthy, and the person will just die with just a minor die of just a minor sickness, probably. Uh, the enemy has shot an arrow, and uh, which doesn't cost more than five or ten minutes prayer. Say you this evil arrow, come out, go back to the sender, receive your healing, stand on your feet, and begin to exercise your and the miracle will just come. But these people, despite all the money they spend, millions go to India, go to you, you so this millions. And yet, what happened? They will lose their life, but we receive all these things um, freely, like one Yoruba song, Tony. Love, love, any Baba for me. Love, love, any Baba for me. I love you, Taye for you. Love, love, any Baba for me. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. Like where they announced that uh, one great woman, one great woman, uh, departed from this earth. Yesterday, I was shocked. Which doesn't cost more than uh, five to ten minutes prayer. It's an arrow. It's an arrow. You this evil arrow, come out, woman. Receive your healing. Stand on your feet and begin to. That's all. But now they have spent millions of naira, and the other day, nothing. Right on your feet. The delorean said, "Don't you just pay off and it's equal to buy." She just married. See, she just married. Allah took my share from. They are sick by your son. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You don't know the privilege that you have. Oh man, fancy only. What God, that, the privilege God has given you is more than becoming useless billionaire without Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By His grace. As little as I am. Be moshe jamo kikereto. With the little privilege God has given me, God has used me to minister to professors. Oh, Lord, I see. God has used me to minister to professors. Oh, Lord, I see. God has used me to minister to professors. 
on the on dead bed. And I simply cast out the evil arrow and they receive their healing. And with by his grace, they don't even have it, they don't even have time to say, Thank you, my my boy. It doesn't cause on anything. This is a privilege God has given us. Like a few days ago, when God, when God was ministering to me, saying, among God has, my son, I have made you a blessing to your generation. Anywhere you go, anywhere you step, I will prove myself that I am the one who raised you up and that I am with you. I will perform miracles. I will, I will meet the needs of my people. Even more than your expectation. And therefore, go in my name. I will be with you. How much can you buy that? Hallelujah. If you are here this morning, you are yet to give your life to Christ. Oh, what if you No matter who you are, your position, your position, your your, your mati- I mean, either materially or spiritually or whatever, I mean, or uh, 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 academically and whatever. So, if you are yet to give your life to Christ, I encourage you, I want to encourage you to please do that right now. So, by the fire refugees, more on this is in fact, you should beg again. This is in your condition, you put your name, boy, and you pass here, you make a can it, I've been a party, I've been a party, oh, when no matter how worthy you are, possibly I'll be a shell or two. Somebody says, and you call me, life without Christ is crisis. Is it not true? Whatever thing you have, no matter the position you have, and you don't have Christ, God will see you as the most miserable person on earth. But today, you are given the privilege to come before him, to begin to serve him, to begin to serve him in his court. We will now call upon him. Say, Lord, I am here before you. I want to renew my covenant with you. If you are here to give your life to him, simply tell him, say, I am here this morning. I am ready to give my totality unto you because you are the only one who can solve my problem? No prophet can do that. No pastor can do that. Unless they want to deceive you. The condition is giving your totality unto him. Are you ready? Let's call upon him right now. Yes. Call upon him. Let's call upon him right now. This is a great privilege. It's an opportunity for you to give your life unto him. To surrender your totality unto him. He demands for total submission to his will right now. Total submission. Total submission to his will. Total surrenderness. Are you ready? Call upon him right now. Don't deceive yourself. And don't allow anything to to, de- to hinder you. Even though you make up your mind, that the Lord will turn your life around. I can assure you. Who reconsidered? 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 Who
Rakuri ka siri kusoko bushida ba. Rakuri ka siri kusoko bushida ba. Aha. Rakuri ka siri kusoko bushida ba. Rakuri ka siri kusoko bushida ba. Rakuri ka siri kusoko bushida ba. Rakuri ka siri kusoko bushida. Ere ke puri ka siri kusida ba. Rakuri ka siri kusoko bushida ba. Aha. Rakuri ka siri kusoko bushida ba. Pray, 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 pray. Dadura. Pray aggressively. Dadura ka no itara. Call upon him. Call upon him. It's what say, call upon me and I will answer thee and show the great and mighty things which now which uh, you should know you should know not. Which oh, thou know which thou knowest not. That is, which you don't know. Oh, no, no, no. That is what 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 is In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now coming back to the place where the woman of God took her text. You want to pray again. Let's go to 66 verse 3. 66 verse 3. Say to God, how was all are your works? Through the greatness of your power, your enemy shall submit themselves to you. And we fall on a way, it was in a routine, no, it share, nepa, quite barare, near what are you, fury, more ballet for. Let's make up again. <laughs> Say to God, how awesome are your works? Through the greatness of your power, your enemy shall submit themselves <laughs> to you. And we fall out of way, it was in near to Nino, it share, Nepal, quite barare, near what are you, Fury, or in one ballet for? That's wonderful. You don't, Yano. Let's go to verse, um, verse 5 again. Yes, I can. Come and see the words of God. He is awesome in his doing, <laughs> in his doing towards the sons of men. And what we shall learn, what near we need share is see our one more in here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know where that's other passage very well. That is the privilege God is giving among God has, which God is giving all this month. Say, my son, my daughters, my sons, my children. I have, I am a great God. I am also in my works. Commit your need unto me, and I will do it. Our God is a great God. <laughs> no enemy can withstand him. No. It's impossible. This, this time around, as you are ready to give your totality unto him. Number one, he will begin to fight your battle on your behalf in a new dimension. He will begin to deal with your enemy. Because whosoever wants to fight against you, what happens? 
If we want to fight God, the Bible says, if God be for all, who can be against us? Baba. <laughs> So she person wants to fight God. That is a secret that many does not know. And when you just give them the rest of mine. Don't fear witches, don't fight, don't no. fear the uh, no, like wizard. They don't have any power. <laughs> we are the one empowering them. When you are prayerless. When you allow sin to weaken you. Then what happened? They will overcome you. And because of your carelessness, they are not powerful then. And therefore, right now, right now, God says the Lord, my people, I want to fight for you. Even right now. According to my word. I want to turn your life around. I want to make a way for you. We are to be no way. What I have for you. This month. Is great. You must reposition yourself to have them. Then I will surprise you. Sierra of fools. Peace be unto you. Amen. Amen. That's another confirmation. Except you don't need anything. If you have got everything, that you need, pray for me. And in your prayer. And God will reward you. But if you have any need, right now, begin to commit to the hand of God. So the boys in your course right now. It's now left in your hand. <laughs> If you cannot ask now, the ball is in your court. Oh, no, If you cannot ask now, the ball is in your court. Oh, no, fashion, can la. He says he wants to do a great thing. To, but if you don't want, very far, what all you want need here. Ask for those on behalf of those that need it. Eh, ya no asi chele no aye ta wo ye. A miracle will happen in their life. Ah ha. Puri ka sairi ko sokro ka shiri ka sida ba. Yere ke puri ka suku pairi ko sokro ko sida ba. Puri ke. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and uh, commit your need to his hand right now. If you not fail to ask, it's left to you. Purika <laughs> Eric Purica, Sidaba. Eric Purica, Sidaba. Eric Purica, Sidaba. 
Yero ke puri kasiri kusoko busida ba. Ra puri kasiri kasida ba. Aha, 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 aha. Puri kasiri kahor kapu busida. Yero ke puri kasiri kasida ba. Ra, yes. Puri kasiri kasida ba. Puri kasiri kasida ba. Eh. Jesus name we pray. Amen. Um is sharing some things with me now. Womba me so won kokon. We shall I want me to share with you I will share there are some of them he may not allow me to share it openly. Eh yi to ba fe kin ba wa so ma ba wa so sugbon imi o me ran wa ti ko ni fe kin so sita. Now. Nesese. I am in the spirit of Elijah. Mo wa ninu emi Elijah. As many as are rising against you. Yeah, what you want to see? As many as are rising up against you. Yeah, what you want to see? They will fall for your sake. Amen. 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 Between now and end of this month, when you hear that somebody close to you is dead, be be watchful. I mean, be, be watchful. Be careful the way you this the, 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 the way you this situation. If it has, uh, if it's necessary for you to 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 receive emergency call, say, come now, 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 now. Pray very well before you go. There is somebody here. The enemy. We surely die. But when the message comes for say, come here because we are about to bury the person, be watchful before you go. Because there's somebody here. If they bury the person in his in his our presence, that will be another problem. I don't know the person. And I'm not interested in knowing the person. All you need to do is to pray before you go. Yes, the person is a woman. And the person that will die is a woman as well. Don't come and meet me. Say, I'm not, no, no, no. No, no, no. You are a prophetess to pray. And God will share his mind with you. God says the Lord. My people. What I want to do this month is great. You will bury your enemy. Be watchful. Don't toy with sin. And I will fight for you. Fear of fools. Peace be unto you. Now I am in the spirit of Elisha. Spread your hand. They are what, eh? Um, listen very well. That is it, Dara Dara. There are some, there are some church members. I want more. Just come one. Some of them are still. Uh, uh, we, some of them will join us later. Ah, we want to come. We want Dara to come. We want to buy. They will become millionaires. We want the millionaire. We will have millionaires in this assembly. Oh, yeah, one millionaire, they don't join you. Immediately, I read this passage. So you're hearing it. Something will happen in your life. Because it's a covenant passage with me and with my ministry. With me and the ministry. 
pelu mi ati pelu ise ranse that is the ministry god has committed unto me yani pe ise ranse si olorun gbele mi lowo um i want to tell you something o fe so koko fo don't be sad ma ba nu je but sugbon just be watchful ki e sara um before the end of the year ko to to pin odun and next year si odun totun there be scarcity o won yo wa there will be inflation there will be inflation o won yo wa Come mm. on. Um, but you want to prepare us ahead of time. And therefore, if I minister to you, say, Mommy, do this. Or oh, Daddy, do this. Or oh, my friend, this is what God says. And you begin to argue. Well, I just speak to you anyway. This is not head knowledge. I begin to minister as a prophet. Than before. And therefore, for your own good, I may just have a few words for you. I just have a few words for you. And you work on it. That's I may mean, ask you to go and dance for seven days. Say. I may ask you to go and dance for seven days. Then you say, ah, when, when I'm not mad, it's only those that have mental problems. No, I can't do that. Okay. No problem. Go help you. 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 But the Lord will satisfy his people. Amen. All you need to do is to do what? To reposition yourself, that is to prepare yourself ahead of time, and God will begin to make a way for you where there will be no way. Amen. 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 And um, those that are deceiving themselves, yeah, that is two believers, and those, some people, they go to church quite all right this year. I might say, you to pray, you to fast. In fact, we are just, we are just uh, uh, finished a uh, hundred day prayer and fasting. If you don't, if you don't serve God in spirit and in truth, if you don't serve God in holiness, it's, it's the same passage where our mommy read, Psalm 66. I'm sorry to say, you are just deceiving yourself. I'm just deceiving yourself. Ti o ba se Olorun ni no titan pe o kan tan ra re je ni tori pe Olorun yo bere si ni fi yato si awon to jo ni gbagbo totan ati awon si won tan ra won je I want to tell you this Mo fe so eyi fun The Bible says Bibeli wi pe We shall eat the riches of the Gentiles Ki awa ni yo je oro awon kefere This past this prophecy begin to fulfill in the life of true believers E oro 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 iso tele yo bere si ni se ninu aye awon ni gbagbo totan Then I want to give them long to talk. Turn so long when we are into talk. I don't imagine any. I don't matter yet. You just discover that those that had before you just begin that they will begin to lack, and those true children of God, God will begin to divert the rich, the riches unto them. I am ministering to you prophetically. Don't take this message lightly. I beseech you, mercy of God. Um, I will read just three verses out of Deuteronomy 28. Uh, out of Deuteronomy 28, the first three verses. And it should surely come to pass in your life. Amen. Now it shall come to pass 
if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth. Amen. Verse 2. And now this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Amen. Verse 3. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed, Amen. and blessed shall you be in the country. Yes, ma'am. You see, she be about Farabale, Bow, or Wolu, or Lorun, Re, last in my case, she had to share, share a gobo, Timo, or four, Leone, in Jalo, or Lorun, Re, you, Yoga, Jugo, Gorilla, the Ayelor. As I can't go, but come on, you see, she, sorry, Re. Yosi ba bi wa ba fetisi ohun oluwa Olorun re eseketa ibukun ni fun oni ilu ibukun ni fun oni ipoko Now you are going you will begin to do something foolish Oh wa wa se awon kan to dabe were I don't know whether you are ready for that Mi wa mo boye o se ton fun What is it Kini <laughs> Hey man Amen. Listen. That's it. <laughs> you begin to dance. As a blessed man. And as a blessed woman. Begin to dance unto the Lord. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh, 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 I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready to obey you. I'm ready, Lord. I am ready, Lord. I am ready, Lord. Hurika Sirika, Hurika Purika Sidaba, Rapurika Sirika Subakaba Sida. Oh, yes. Today's a day of blessing. A day of blessing. Hurika Sirika, Hurika Purika Sidaba. Ere ke puri ka siri ka si daba. Ere ke puri ka siri ka si daba. Upa puri ka sairi ko suba kaba. La puri ka siri ka si daba. Ah ah. Oh, we are blessed people. 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 Oh yes. Ore ka siri ka ore ka ore ka si daba. Ere ke puri ka sairi ka si daba. Ere ke puri ka siri ka si daba. Ere ke puri sahiri ka si daba. We are blessed people. 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 Puri ka. In Jesus name we dance. Oh, yes, 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 oh,
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, listen. Testing. Um, they will begin to bury the enemies of this nation. Amen. Amen. This time around, I am sent to this nation. I will begin to declare some prophetic words. When I declare something uh, th uh, last, th uh, uh, last Thursday, that was upper Thursday. Concerning the prayer we prayed that day. I said there shall be a sign, isn't it? Say within seven days there shall be a sign, isn't it? Do you remember? It has come to pass. One of those people that are teaming up with the enemy of this nation is already buried. You may not understand because you are a novice. It's, it's dead already. And it's buried. He's one of the enemies of this nation. That is the truth. You don't understand. You will later understand. By his grace. He has made me a blessing to my generation. If I declare anything and it's fair to come to pass, it is the fault of those people. Despite all odds, because this nation is likely to the, 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 the Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, not, not because of our righteousness. It's because the prophecy has come out. And that is why God killed one of the enemies of this nation. It's an enemy. It's God himself that smites him. It's an evil, it's a wicked <inaudible> person. It's an it's a, it's a evil worker. It's a, it's a worker of iniquity. It's a worker of iniquity. What is sin by above? Abo, oh, oh, oh. They are buried him already. <inaudible> Do you even understand? <inaudible> it's an, it's <inaudible> a worker of iniquity. <inaudible> His heart is full of blood. <inaudible> and God has taken him. What is sin? They are buried in. Oh, it's very sin. Get it, show where. And he's reaping his reward. So wicked. What buru die? Hold on, those strike. It's God that's striking. So many things God will begin to do in this nation. God oh, wants to pass through this nation. Oh, come on, come on, come on, you're showing your relay there. Because Nigeria belongs to God. Don't you think Nigeria just your Lord? I say Nigeria belongs to Jesus. Hey, hey, how we can Nigeria just a crazy? Hey. Both of you. Let holiness be your wash word. Let holiness be your wash word. Then we serve him. And your service will be acceptable unto him. Amen. Both of you, be warned. Look on us.
Amen. Amen. Are you ready to abide? Both of you? Pardon? Are you ready to abide? Follow me. Is a problem. Jonathan, what is your If you know how I can get to him, let me know. Because it's a problem. I don't need anything from him. If you like, he allow me, he should allow me to see him. And if you say no, then I laugh. It's a problem. Who is like Who is like Uh-huh. Benny. Uh-huh. Benny. Satan.
thank you, Jesus. Say 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 thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let me tell you this. Whether you believe it or not, this thank you, Jesus. We become a global language. I'm telling you the truth. Nothing can change this. It's a prophetic word. This time around, people will realize that the most effective prayer is the prayer of praise. Prayer of thanksgiving. Because people, people are so ungraceful. They are ingrates. Now I want to confirm it in your presence. Whatever may be troubling troubling your life, whatever may, that may be ailing, ailing you, you just simply say, thank you, Jesus, when I bid you go seven times. No matter the situation, no matter the challenge, no matter the storm, <laughs> no matter how battered, no matter how battered, the Lord will surprise you. No matter how scattered, or no matter how shattered, the Lord will surprise you. It will turn your life around and fill your mouth with wonderful and fascinating testimony concerning the goodness of God. Do you believe? This is a test. You will simply appreciate him, say, Thank you, Jesus, seven times. And something will happen. Healing will take place. There shall be deliverance. Breakthrough. <laughs> Do you believe? What to go? If you believe, ye shall see the glory of God. If you believe, 
ye shall see the glory of God. If you believe, ye shall see the glory of God. If you believe, ye shall see the glory of God. If you believe, ye shall see the glory of God. Aha. Yes. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Aha. Yes, yes. Bless you. 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 Aha. Aha. Impartation. Impartation. Take it down. Impartation. 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 Oh ha. Impartation is taking me right now. 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 Aha. 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 Porika porika sairika sidaba. Ereke purika sairika haba. Ereke purika sairika haba. Ereke purika sairika haba. Amen. Amen. Look here. Wobi. He wants me to do something now. What I can share and come by you. And this is a prophetic ministration. Whether you can see me or not, just look at your front. Boy, I already know. Boy, I already know. Shama, what I do? This is the sword of the Lord. You need the Lord. I cause your enemy to do right now. Aha. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Aha. 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 